Великой степи не было постоянного войска. There was no regular army in the Great Step, but when it was necessary, the commander could gather a militia in a matter of hours. Going on a long hike, the soldiers had to take food with them in the ready-to-eat form. It was usually cooked by women. It is worth noting that this food did not spoil during the trip and was becoming tastier every day. Today in the Ethno Sport, I will show you the secrets of nomad food. Hello. In our episodes, we talk about the military sports training of our ancestral nomads. However, we missed one small but very important detail. A well-fed warrior is a strong warrior. Therefore, today we will show you the secrets of the Bhatia cuisine of nomads. The participants of our historical reenactment will demonstrate how healthy step nutrition makes warriors stronger. Nomads fought almost their entire lives to defend their land from enemies, and they always won. And the secret is that nomads never lost their strength and courage. And that's because of the healthy and wholesome food. Let's compare. Today, modern soldiers get canned meat, cereals, pâté, and bread rolls as a ready-to-eat food. Total 14 items. And the nomad warriors during the military campaign had only five options. This is curd, dried horse meat, dried bow socks, fermented horse milk and irim chic. These products had a complete set of vitamins and minerals needed for the nomad warrior's body. But the main advantage of these dishes was that they did not spoil for several months. Kazakh cuisine is the healthiest and most nutritious. And each dish has its own deep philosophy. Each dish carries a whole interpretation. Let me tell you about the dish called Zhao Zhurek. Zhao Zhurek. The main ingredients of this dish are the liver, no matter of which animal. It can be the liver of a cow, horse or lamb. And Shabi Mai is internal fat. We all know, right? Well, we all ate shashlik. That Jean Jurek is a very interesting ritual dish for men. In ancient times, mothers prepared the Jean Jurek dish for their sons and husbands before a long trip. It gave them strength, courage and brought victory. This is a very filling dish that could be stored for a long time. Not only was the liver used to cook it, but also the heart. These parts were stuffed with fat, rice, onions, peppers, carrots, and cooked over low heat. People say that fearless hormone is produced in the liver and heart. Why did you call men this time? Well, so that they could try and remember their mothers. Excellent. That's the philosophy. Now we're all approaching the grill. Let's see how the dish of Jean Jurek is cooked. As I understand it, looking at the ingredients, this will all be very fast, right? 10 to 15 minutes, right? I see a line. By the way, in the army, when nomads went on long campaigns, they always had such a position. It was called Kazanshi, or the one who distributes the food. It turns out that today I am playing the role of Kazanshi. This is pretty honorable, by the way. Kazanshi was appointed by the commander of the troops, Bartiers, at a special military council. The best food in long trips was jerky. Firstly, it has been stored for months, and secondly, it was nutritious. The soldiers boiled it. A special kind of food was so called tuimesh. Meat grinded in a mortar, which was dried and stored in the sheep's stomach. It was poured with boiling water, and the dish turned out very nourishing. As the artists say, the final touch. Just like that. I see so many people around, and all of them are waiting. 
Well, they hope that they will also get a piece. I will be a fair cousin she. Everyone will get a chance to try it. Well, in any case, those who are next to me for sure. I think it is ready. We should ring the bells. Everything is ready. What do we do next? Come to the table. As they say, fresh out of the oven. We are opening it. So now we do not need this grid. We'll remove it here. So what's next? Probably need some kind of fork, or we will use hands. 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 But we are nomads. We all eat with our hands. So remove the access, and we begin to share. Everyone, please try with your hands. We are Kazakhs. We all eat with our hands. Zhao Zhurek. Help yourself. The Kazan Shi in action. Caution, it is very hot. Very hot. So you have the most delicious piece. And you can try it too. You need to. Here is the most delicious piece. Take it. Got a great slice. Take the second one. But it is very, very hot. I decided to digress a little from cooking and join the audience who are watching a demonstration of military art. Pay attention to what is happening now. Warriors of various eras show us a sword fight. Here's what we just saw is called a calm. This is when two squads converge in the form of a calm and fight using sabers. Very spectacular. The saber was the main weapon of the nomads for many centuries. In the modern Kazakh steppes, this type of weapon appeared in the east in 7th, 8th centuries. And from there it spread throughout Eastern Europe and further. The light and durable saber proved to be an ideal weapon for cavalry and was used until the beginning of the 20th century. As you can see, I got a saber. Well, I just can't sit in the kitchen. I'll be honest with you. It is very interesting there. The kitchen is not my type of thing. I want to be here. Take a saber, mount a horse, and join this show. Today, scientists say that nomads once well mastered the law of nature. Sports alone could not make them strong. They needed energy-intensive food. And that was meat. Horse meat turned out to be rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Moreover, there was no bad cholesterol in it. And this meat was a great help to nomads in military campaigns. And here is that great secret of nomads. Going on long hikes, they dried and smoked the meat in such a way that it did not spoil for months. And at any moment, it was possible to get a piece of meat from the bag, cut it with a knife, put it in your mouth, chew it well, then swallow it, drink horse milk after and continue the journey. This is a mystery that has been sealed for a long time, and now we are revealing it. Mostly, meat was dried on smoke of Saxo, and today we did good. Well, of course, this is an innovation, but we tried to cook that meat using this technology. You will try this now.
And now what we have been waiting for two hours, jerky. And do not forget that you are watching the Ethno Sport. The taste is indescribable, the jerky, the secret of which we saw today at our chef's kitchen. And now, after a hearty lunch, all the soldiers are ready for warfare. I can't sit in the kitchen. Again, I want to join the action in the field, because the most interesting thing is happening here. Everyone ate a little bit, everyone is full and satisfied. And now the spectacle is in full swing. I do not know what we will have now, but the guys are preparing for some kind of performance. I'd like to be among them. Now we will show you options for equestrian attacks. Moreover, these equestrian attacks were made by nomads of all historical periods, from the Saka tribes to the Kazakh Khanate. It is gratifying to see that so many people are interested in the nomadic past of our ancestors. Right now they are trying archery. I envy them a little, to be honest. Because when you do this for the first time, it is always very exciting. And I think many succeed. We stand sideways, we take it with three fingers and gently pull back, so it does not stretch. Where are we shooting? We are not shooting, just trying for now. Just tried. So much power is needed. Can I do it? Yes, you will be a good nomad. It is not a surprise. Who else wants to try? I can do it. Many people think that nomads could only fight on horseback, but this is absolutely not true. Nomads were also excellent foot soldiers. Sometimes the horse could be wounded or even killed during the battle, and then the nomad had to fight on foot. These artists we see are pretty good at fighting using their hands. It is very beautiful and spectacular. I once took part in a historical movie and I had to perform in battle scenes. I will say right away, for five minutes only. That was more than enough for me. And what is needed to fight all day? Right, it is necessary to eat good food. Since the formation of the Kazakh Khanate, the steppe has become a field of constant military operations. Therefore, the society of our ancestors from the 17th century until the beginning of the 20th is defined as a military nomadic. During this period, a special model of the nutrition of soldiers was formed. The so-called Kojuns, bags with food, saved them not only from hunger, but also from illness and even death. For example, the wounded were given kazi, or sausage as a medicine, and plates of fat tail were placed on the wounds, which stopped the bacteria from spreading. The magic Kojun helped the soldiers quickly regain strength and smash the enemy. Not far from the yurt where I ate, there was a tent of artisans. I am looking for a Kojun here. 
but these are not the ones I'm looking for. Do you know where I can find a camping cojon? Well, in general, we have one of the options of that cojon. This is a woven cojon which is made by weaving in a traditional style. I see. It is so bright. How is it attached to a horse? It will be dirty. Or is it okay? In fact, when you're in this step, in the summer it is very monochrome. In spring you see such a variety of colors. And in the summer everything is pretty monochrome. And I understand, someone will see it. And so the jaune should be bright. Look at me and cheer yourself up. It must show prosperity. Therefore, I think that it is made just as it should be. But is it a souvenir cojon or a real one? I need a real one for trips. Well, it's close to the real one, because the real one still has to have a slightly different turn lock. Loops are soon on both sides, which are then knitted with a pigtail. And in this case, all the contents are completely safe. So many details. И в этом случае все содержимое находится в полной безопасности. Как много тонкостей, но тем не менее. However, I can use it, right? Of course, an absolutely functional thing that you can use. The next question is, what can I put here? Almost everything. Now, for example, Kojun is very popular, and this is our ancient tradition. Thank you. Well, now I have a Kojun which I need to fill with something. Here, the Kojun is empty. It is a simple thing and it's not going anywhere. Here I have a table that is full of nomadic food that they took with them on the road. First of all, of course, bread. Bread, as you know, is stuff of life. Let's put it in our empty Kojun. I also have a set for soup here that is yellow corn and white millet. Standard set. Next, of course, curd. Sour milk product. Let me put a piece. Next is meat. Meat is obligatory. The jerky, today we dried it. And we tried it. It turned out very tasty. This will be enough for me for a long time. Tari are the so-called breakfast cereals that nomads used during campaigns. Just pour it into a plate, pour milk and that's it. This is talkan. What are we doing? This is such a mixture especially prepared so that it can be also poured with water or milk at any convenient time. And of course, bao socks. As you see, I have two types of bao socks. I'll eat these fresh ones for breakfast. Well, but these are for later. They are stored for a very long time. And of course, kumis. Without kumis, as they say, the road will not be easy. Nomads have never lost their strength and pep, largely due to proper nutrition. My kojun is full of delicious food which is prepared by the most ancient recipes of the nomads. Eat right, friends, with the ethno-sport. See you soon!